Hey, so I wanted to give you guys an example of how to use our goals feature to update fields and tags and sort of what's possible. So I dove into a HVAC example here. And so I'll provide a link to this Google Doc below if you want to copy it, use any of the information here. But you can see um, we've got a prompt for Jenna, who works for made up company HVAC helpers. Uh, she needs to get their name, email, full address, determine what sort of service they're looking for and book an appointment. Uh, and so you can look more in detail there. And then I also have the goals that I added on to this bot. Uh, and so essentially I'm having the bot add a tag if a specific type of, um, if a specific type of service is requested, repair, maintenance, or installation. And I'm also having the bot update these custom fields, the full name, the email, and the full address. And so over here with these settings, and just real quick, this is what that looks like in the bot. And so you just add a goal for each of these. Um, and so we have three tag type goals and three field type goals in here with a description for each. Um, but here's the result that I got on this test. So uh, none of the information here was populated. I texted in as a brand new contact. So the contact was initially created just with the cell number. Um, but you can see here that the conversation goes on. Just ignore the A2P blocking my demo account here. Um, but you can see that the AI requests their full name and email address, gets that, and updates the contact. Uh, they ask for what sort of service they're looking for. Um, and so I responded, I need my AC fixed ASAP. It stopped working this morning. It's nearly 100 degrees today. And you can see that that doesn't fit exactly with repair, installation, replacement, or maintenance. But if we go down here to tags, you're gonna see that it successfully added the AC repair tag. And so continuing on, the AI expresses some empathy and moves on to ask for the full address. Here as well, I wasn't super clear with my address. Um, I guess the only really tricky thing I did was not put a space between DC and 20003, but also weird capitalization, things like that. And if we go over to the general info, uh, it went ahead and put into proper capitalization, um, gave us the city, the country, and the postal code in there as well. Um, and another feature you can do is you can actually update the time zone, which probably isn't relevant for HVAC since you're probably not driving across time zones for service. Um, and then just moved on to booking the appointment. And so just wanted to show you that how that was possible and how we would do it. And now the thing about tags here is that if you are looking to base automation off of like the service being determined, which I think this is a great example, then you can set up automations around that tag being added, or you can specify specific automations uh, once that tag has already been added. So let me just show you an example. If I go into our workflows for our AI and go into our number one, send message to robot, our snapshot is set up to always update the calendar ID every time a lead comes through with the, with the calendar ID that is in your custom value. But if you have a situation where you have different calendars, we could actually set up an if else path down here. So it comes through, updates the prompt and calendar ID, updates the robot reply tag. But before firing the webhook, say we want to have a different calendar for different services. And so I would create an if else, and I'm gonna make a branch for each of my uh, each of my services here. And so let's say AC repair. Um, and so this will be my AC repair branch. And then I'll add another one. We'll do AC maintenance. And so same thing, tags include AC maintenance. And one more for tag includes, um, what was our other one? Installation. Oh, I guess that doesn't exist yet since I didn't run a test with that one, but let's say AC installation. And so now we have three different paths plus a path that has none of those. And so uh, if it comes down the none path, that means that it has none of these tags, meaning we want it to just stay with that custom value calendar ID. So we're not gonna do anything except for set up a go to and just click save and then send it over to the webhook. So nothing gets updated and it goes to the webhook. But for these three, we would want to update the contact field and select calendar ID. 
and we would put in the string of the calendar ID for that specific calendar. Um, and so we would have one for AC repair, one for AC maintenance, and one for AC installation. I don't have actual calendars, which is why I just put in gibberish in there, um, since this is just a demo. But on each of these, we'd also need to go to to send it to the webhook. Um, and so similarly, you could uh, you could have those paths set up so that now we have a different calendar for each one. Or say you wanted to automate a different a different notification or a different bit of information on an appointment being booked. And so if I go to number three, stop robot appointment booked, uh, we have these um, these confirmation messages being sent. But say I want to have a uh, internal notification go out and change what's in that not internal notification based on the tag. I could do the same thing here. So once more creating an if else, and I'm not going to make you watch me create all these branches again. So I'm just going to create one for installation. Installation. Oops. Uh, name it AC installation. And so then I could say that I want to send an internal notification um, via email and let's just send it to a uh, custom email. And so this would be support at hvachelpers.com. Um, you know, it's a made up address. So I don't know why I'm caring about typos, but uh, essentially like new AC installation booked. Um, and similarly, you could set it off of your calendars if you're booking it to a different calendar, uh, but we can include text in here that says like a new installation was just booked for, and we can put in the address, you know, whatever information from that conversation, etc. cetera. Uh, but this is just a piece of how much you can customize and, and really get into the, uh, get into some really cool automations and customizations into your system and into your AI here.